Do you know who Conrad is? Do you know who Conrad is, Santi Fanta? Who's what? Conrad. Conrad. <laughs> right, I have Conrad, to. No. Alright, type it in uh, uh, Google and I'll call you back in two minutes. Conrad. Conrad. C O N R A D number two on the end. What? Have a nice evening. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Did you Welcome. To, did you have to do that? Yeah, I had to, man. I had to because, you know, it is. The family put pressure on me because I'm meant to be organising the family, you know, the get-togethers. But I'm busy this Sunday. This Sunday, I'm going to Crippa Conan's restaurant for two hours. That's a busy one. That's a lot of ice cream. That's brunch. So the journey really. Yeah, well, that's, that's the thing now, brunches. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing now, brunches. I can't get no club bookings anymore. So it's all brunch. Brunch, brunch. Everyone brunch wants to eat and listen to music. That's the new thing. And I smashed the last one. Yeah, I heard. Have you ever done it though? Have you ever gone and had brunch? Because no. I still have never gone and had brunch. <laughs> too much Everyone's doing it. That's too much it. information. Mm. Too much food. I'm not, I, I can't sit down and eat with loads of people, unless it's my family. Day drinking's long as well. Mm. Once you get into day drinking, you're in dangerous territory, I think. Can't relate. No, I, hear you. I, don't, I don't really drink that. I, I drink that maybe once every six, seven weeks or whatever. But the thing is, I, I, I told my family, I said, listen, I can come after. But the problem is my aunt's house in Oxford. She's the rich one. Right. She's in Oxford, they've got a big house, a few floors. I'm not going from Croydon all the way to Oxford because then when I arrive in Oxford, it'll be Monday. Hmm. So there's no point me coming. Just in neglecting your family. There's no rules, man. The most important thing is I've got Logan on the No Rules Show today. Welcome, man. What's going on, mate? It's, it's so organic, you know. Yesterday, we just, I had to be like, just, you know what? Logan, I need you. But I wanted you from day one. You know why? why? Because I think out of everyone that I know, you are the genius when it comes to knowing things. Wrestling, I used to street be, fighter. No, I used to be. But, you know, like, like a cup, right? Mm-hmm. Keep pouring more stuff in the cup. Start spilling out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I realised that before I came here, I'm thinking, boy, he's gonna expect me to remember <laughs> all of this <laughs> attitude era. <laughs> you gotta go back. All of it. It's, oh, I'm getting old, brother. Jim remember Moss can it. remember it. He's 69 years yeah. old. You can remember, though. We can go. We, we're gonna dig deep. We're you, gonna dig do you know deep. what? Mm. You jog my memory, and I'll mm. remember it. But yeah. There's I've little things. So much bad wrestling that it's just pushed out all the fun stuff. Yeah, I can imagine. Like if you car- <laughs> you carried on in through that period, you probably have had like all this information yeah. that so it means all the good stuff from the early days of liking wrestling is probably mm, like oh, I lost shit, all my, I really need to go and figure memories. that out again. Yeah, and yeah, I'd, too much TNA. I don't really stop. Like I find things I'm interested in, and I never stop being interested in them. Right. I don't know why that is. I obviously must be a very faithful husband one day um <laughs> but like yeah all the stuff that i got into when i was a teenager i'm still interested in now so like i never stopped watching wrestling monday night wars obviously yeah gassed sick watching on bravo and sky and whatever but um then i started watching tna and ring of honor and i'm still watching two wwe shows a week and two not three no, I mean after after WCW closed down. Oh, then, oh when I they see started yeah, SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they started SmackDown. So you had Keen One Sky. <laughs> no, basically. Just Sky. So how was you watching both? Oh yeah, it was on Cartoon Network, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. no, TNT. TNT. Yeah. TNT. TNT. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's true. Do you fall out of interest with things? Cause I, it's always there. Mm. Yeah. Like things when you get into them as a kid, it's always mm. there. You just have to tap into it. Like people were ashamed to say they like wrestling or liked wrestling for a period mm. it feels like i can yeah. never understand people that go oh i found out it wasn't real like how were you watching that and thinking it was real i don't get that no i knew what I, kind I, of simple children do you have to be to watch wrestling and think it's real yeah. no when i was a, when i was a kid it was real yeah what no when i was a kid that was real yes yeah, they were fighting in their pants bruv like uh, yeah but i didn't i didn't I don't papa know, shango didn't. made black liquid yeah. come out of the old or his hair that wasn't like yeah no nah, man maybe at no point maybe in my life upbringing maybe I mean yeah. at no point in my life did I ever think wrestling was real but yeah, for I me it was I just like, like, it's a, like yeah like a soap opera Santa Claus like, like it, no one ever actually thought it was real so that means you lot were questioning things from early yeah. I wasn't that's the thing a lot of people when they watch things they question it question I wasn't question I was just like yep Undertaking Keener Brothers 
This is real. <laughs> Do you think your mum might have seen it on in the background and just gone, you know, Freddie? Well, she tried to she tried to ban me from watching it because when I was watching, I used to like stand in front of the TV and copy it. Oh yeah, I yeah, understand that. Yeah. yeah, we saw she was thinking, oh, what's this? This is nonsense, and they were in pants. And there was obviously there was times where Sable, Deborah used to come out with their big carpets. Real, up. <laughs> real, real yeah. attitude. Yeah, really. yeah. So that was when mums was like, Ooh. and a lot, a lot of my friends mm. when I was younger as well, they were like religious families as well, and their mums mm. were like, yeah, mom, yeah, my mum was no, nope. not on the whole. You know, do you remember Puppies. when the, 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 the ladies used to come in and just start swinging their hips around the ring for no reason? Yeah, and there was there was. Do you know Jerry I mean? Lawler just shouts puppies and suddenly they're in a then, they're in like a swimming pool full of chocolate pudding and I don't know what happened. Just, it must was, be confusing. That was the kill time. For adults yeah. back then, just yeah. what the hell is going on? Yeah. Because if you watch it now, you're like, <laughs> fuck you. Know. It don't hold up. No. <laughs> yeah. Attitude here doesn't hold up. Man. But you know what's weird? If I show my aunties, all eight of them, nine of them, if I show them Stone Cold, yeah. oh, they'll remember him. That's the thing. Yeah. Well, Specs has got this thing whenever uh, he gets a phone call from someone and he's not sure who it is. He never turns down a phone call. Always answers his phone. He'll answer it. He goes, this a minute and a half of working out who he is. And he goes, all right, all right, cool. Do you know who The Undertaker is? It doesn't matter who it is. And as soon as he finds out that they do know who he is, he's like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll speak to you later. If they don't know, he says, all right, cool. Now Google The Undertaker. <laughs> gets a picture of The Undertaker. They go, do you know who that is? He goes, yeah, I kind of recognize him. Cool, see you later. I, I, like, I love it when people... Who don't never talk about wrestling, so they don't care, but they see the Undertaker and they're like, I, I remember him. Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. It's so weird, isn't it? Because if you had no peripheral knowledge, you would how would you not know? You'd know. Mm. Somehow, some way. You must have seen him somewhere. On of someone's course. book bag or On something. On TV, yeah. somewhere. Internet, somewhere. Undertaker's Definitely. more viewed than Jesus Christ, I think. <laughs> I don't think so. Now, you, now, now you're just trying to upset. No, oh, no, I'm, 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 just, I'm not trying to upset family. I'm not trying to. There's no blasphemy here. I'm just saying. Well, I think. So okay. So as a teenager, yeah, you guys were obviously you know clued on. You were questioning things. Was you a shoulder shaker, Logan Sama? Was I a shoulder shaker? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> that means. Um, so basically. Masturbating by yourself. Well, that was the most direct explanation. <laughs> yeah, you've you ever know, given. I, mean, I just, I just, I just, I just had to put it. Like, was there? Was you shaking? <laughs> As a, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that's not the too real frequently. Question. I don't uh, think, but you know, it's not a big deal, is it? Yeah. In most European countries, they'd be talking about this. Casually. So that's why I like to like, ask all my guests because I feel okay. like it's something we've all done. <laughs> Shoulder shake. <laughs> 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 no one wants to admit. But I like it, you know, because on this show, the truth comes out. Yeah. So it goes on to my next question. Have okay. you risked have you risked it for a cracker? <laughs> so basically Logan, that, come on man. Have you risked it for a cracker? That means Answer Logan, the man's question. That means Logan. <laughs> have you masturbated somewhere in your house where you're not supposed to, where maybe it's a party? Maybe it's our family members there, or it's a close call. Mm. No, no. Never been caught. No. Never. Yeah. So you've, you always check your mirrors yeah. when you show the streets. <laughs> that's, that's a good man, man. That's, that's you're organized, Logan. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to, I'm trying to search back. We've had some bad close calls. I mean, like you got front room television X five minute preview. Yeah, ooh, amazing. Amazing. But that's that's the height of the risk of well, volume high or low because the volume high. Oh, off. off, 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 off. Yeah, that's a lot yeah. of imagination. Off. Yeah, yeah. Imagining the sounds. I mean, I, I was mm. like a teenager. You don't, it doesn't take much. <laughs> no, 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 no. When you was doing it at the time, was you, did you tell anyone, or was <laughs> you just kept it to yourself at the time? <laughs> Specifically at the at the time, yes. or generally at like the time? like generally, like generally at the time. Not really something I discussed. No. Yeah. No. So it's a secret for everyone. Why? I want to know why. It's I a don't secret. think it's a secret for everyone, though. I think, I think it's, it's a, a cultural thing. Some people do like to talk about that stuff. Mm. Like, there's a whole in between this generation mm. that, like, I they'll mean, talk I understand about why I'm a white man from Essex, so mm. I don't blame you for assuming that. Yeah. Oh, I was knocking one out the other night, hey, Dave, exactly. and we're yeah. oh, fucking. Yeah. yeah. So. But I imagine that's now, though, isn't it? I'm talking. No, 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 no. Is it? Yeah, that's 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 a cultural that's thing. A, I that's think. a cornerstone of white British culture. That is, I think. Yeah. Talking about that's why page three exists, I guess. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. 
It's amazing that Logan, because it's like We've now, ever since I've been talking about shoulder decades. shaking, everyone is coming out celebrating. <laughs> like everyone wants to tell me their story. I was at a club on Saturday and a guy wants to tell me a situation where he had a close call. I'm like, bro, we're in a club. I want to hear music right now. Yeah. So this is my thing. My thing is- I thought that story was going to go a, a different direction. No, no, no. Did you get to the story? I'm glad that it didn't go a different direction. No, no, I, I didn't. I wasn't, I was, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a Garage Nation. I love Garage. So oh. I'm not trying to hear no- Anthony you know, Joshua was down there, wasn't Anthony Joshua tapped me on my shoulder at Garage Nation. Why was he there? That was he a was good on time. stage. Yeah, did 21 so seconds. Yeah. yeah. As, as soon as I saw him on stage, I thought, okay, he's going to touch Mike. And I, I, I wanted to see, you know, the old school MCs that I grew up. So I went upstairs to the arm room. So when he's finished, <laughs> I came back down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but something happened to me yesterday, Logan. Something incredible happened, yeah? Um, yeah. I woke up in the morning and I saw the shade. Is, um, that, a, is that a daily It's not. Ritual? It's just, do you know what? It's now, now I'm doing it. I mean, you're a parent now, isn't it? Yeah, so but now I'm just, do, I'm just doing it because- Needs must and that. I can talk about it. That's what I'm doing it. Do you know what I mean? Now well, for, I'm free. For material to- talk Yeah, about. I, could, I could do it now and be like, all right, guys, this is what I've done. And they always, they, Poet and all those guys will always say, yeah, I did it as well. <laughs> 10 past 11 and they're very precise. <laughs> but yesterday I saw this thing to, to, to a girl called Ella Hughes. Can I just say, we, we got a comment on last week's episode. Yeah from I Deliver L's saying, my guy, Ella Hughes is the one. I gave her at least 76.5 views. Oh, so I spoke about her on this. Uh, you must have done. I yeah, don't remember yeah. that, but so you must have done. So I spoke about yeah. a few episodes. Okay. So I showed the shit to her and then I tweeted. I saw the tweet. I said, Ella Hughes, shout me. And she responded. And she did shout you. So uh, it just. So is she going to be a guest? Well, in, in, I just think the imagination. I showed the shit in my mind. That's a, is that a no? That would, it would be amazing. Oh, Ella Hughes, if you can come on this show, but. I just thought, I realised thoughts become things. Or be a guest things. on the show as well, that would be good too. Oh, very good. Is that real that Ella Hughes, I didn't even at her. No. No. Nah. But she, somebody's You must it. have had yeah. like your fan base and followers mm. and whatever, must at have found her at. Yeah. And yeah. This is powerful, man. Of course. I'm going to start screaming at Deborah. See if she gets back to me. Because she's not with Stone Cold, <laughs> of course. Who else is there? Wait. No. Are, they, are they divorced now? Yeah, they're yeah, divorced. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're divorced. Yeah. Who's he married to now? He's got English, a next wife. English wife, right? Yeah. That was his first wife. Oh, was it? Okay. And they had, they had yeah. kids, yeah. Because I, remember her, I yeah. remember her when she was on WCW with Steve Mongo McMichael in the Four Horsemen. Is he black? No. Mongo? Yeah. <laughs> That's Congolese, man. <laughs> he was an NFL player. He was a uh, Chicago Bears. Uh, linebacker, linebacker yeah. was he was he with her for the storyline or were no? They were, that was her wife because uh, she was Deborah Deborah McMichael. Stone Cold is second hand taker. <laughs> yeah, well, we're all second hand takers. It happens a lot in a wrestling world. It's like a hive. Of, it's like a warren of rabbits. Yeah, Sable. Uh, she was with Mark Miro. Yeah. Now she's with Brock Lesnar. Yeah, married. They married. Yeah. 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 Me and Tigo, we went to um, Inside the Ropes uh, podcast. Jim uh, Jim Ross and Conrad. We do. Live. If you don't know who he is, Google Conrad. Yeah. Watch, the, watch Conrad and Jim Moss. Amazing. Yeah. Only fan as a fan. But me and Tigo were the only black guys there. <laughs> I'm not okay. black, but yeah. Walked in there. I said, okay, I can't see no one that's the same color as me. It's fine. But the crowd, everyone had long hair. Yeah. Yeah. Why? They were still trapped in... The 90s, I think. Wrestlers have long hair so that their moves look more dramatic because their hair will flow. And it also covers up so they can talk to each other about what moves they're going to do. Look at that. Well. That's crazy. Yeah. So we walked hair. in there. What was nice, when we walked in, the woman that took our tickets was wearing an Austin 316 top. Okay. She was a situation with a Scottish accent. <laughs> Am I lying to you? No. Oh, I don't no, laugh. No. I think I remember who that is. Is it? Yeah, because I went to the Inside the Ropes with Matt Hardy. So you've gone before us? Yes. Not originals. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're probably the only people who, when someone stood up and who turned out to be the same color yeah. as you, we're probably the only people who ever shouted, Oh, my Johnson! <laughs> Logan, a guy stood up to ask Jim Ross and Colin a question before me! Yeah. <laughs> so I shouted, Oh, my Johnson. Everyone looked at me like, Oh, my Johnson. <laughs> they like they forgot about it. Was him. the guy no. even bald? 
He was yeah, bald. He was, he was, yeah. bald. was he was he wearing nothing but a pair of red Y fronts? Nah, but I, oh. in my imagination he was. <laughs> <laughs> it were, the people, were you shoulder the, shaking to that afterwards? Well, I, I should have. The, yeah, the yeah. reason people turned around was because they were like, Quick "Well, there's only the one black guy here, so who would dare say that?" Oh, it's the yeah, other it's black the other guy. guy. Okay, yeah. maybe was, we can laugh. It's a good one. It's yeah. a good one. But it was good because obviously uh, Conrad, Jim Ross, doing their thing, talking, talking, oh, yeah. and they did a. Uh, they, they got the audience to ask questions and stuff. And what, uh, someone got up, walked to the front, asked a question, uh, a great question. He said, Jim Ross, it was, it was to Jim, Jim Ross, not Conrad. Uh, he said, Jim Ross, Smackdown, you, was it Sable? Yeah. Who else is there? China? Um, I think he the, said Sonny, Sonny and Trish Stratus. Trish, did he say Lita? Lita as well, Lita. Yeah. See, for, you know, m most of the old female wrestlers said, who would he, uh, 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 Jim Ross, choose in a one-on-one -on -one singles match? <laughs> but you know a, what he meant. Was it a singles <laughs> of course, match? Of course. Uh, Jim Ross ended up picking... Yeah, all of them, I think. I think he picked all of them, isn't yeah. it? So Jim Ross would smash yeah. a lot of those ones that I was sure to well, see. Uh, he's sadly a single man now, isn't he? Yes, he's, his, his wife his died. Wife, he, yeah, mentioned yeah, yeah, he mentioned that. He mentioned that. Yeah, I heard. So he's free to play the field. My favourite was always Tori Wilson. Yeah. I always thought Tori Wilson was the, was Situation. the best of the bunch. She was, she was, I've, I've mentioned her before, isn't it? Yeah. No? She's, mentioned I think her, they yeah. put her in the Hall of Fame recently. Is it? I don't know. I think so. She was certainly in my Hall of Fame anyway. Well, I went, shoulder, I supported it. shake in Hall of Fame. Yeah. I supported it. I bought a book and I asked for a t-shirt that said Austin 316. They said no. But the Undertaker was here <laughs> before. And I said, that was how that exchange went. That is how exchange and, went. I, and I also <laughs> asked, have you heard of Tatonka? He yes. said, no. So I said, oh, listen, you guys are not real. They haven't heard of Tatonka. They've never heard of Tatonka. So for me, that's not inside. Didn't the they rocks. bring him back for like a rumble or something? I swear I've seen him. Yeah, in the was, he, was in he in the Royal Rumble the other day? Yeah. Legends match yeah. that they yeah. had. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, no, he came out at the Royal Rumble the other day. Oh, yeah? Tatonka, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. He looked okay. He looked better than DDP. Yeah. Jim Ross swears a lot, man. Yeah. He's, that's what he was doing. Just kept swearing. He was man. really cool, man. But um, he seems cool. I worked. I worked at the AEW show last year in Orlando and they got me to do commentary for the um, for the pre-show. Because um, it's a gaming event. This thing I did was CEO right. in Orlando. So it's a gaming tournament that I go to and do commentary for the, the gaming tournament part. But two years ago, they did a New Japan Pro Wrestling show because Kenny Omega is really good friends with the guy that runs the show. Um, so he said, right, I'm gonna, we're going to bring AEW there now because obviously a new company. And um, Jim Ross was on the announce team and I got to be, I basically got to be Jim Ross for the pre-show. Um, in so front I, of Jim Ross? Yeah, so Jim what? Ross, I met him. Um, we were all backstage in the commentators thing. I posted a photo up on my social media with Jim Ross. Um, but yeah, it's on, it's on YouTube. It's AEW, I can't remember what the show was called pre-show in Orlando though. Um, yeah, it was cool. What is that to, like though? To, to, to be with someone. Wrestling. Yeah. Right. Well, to were be with you, somebody were you, you the main watching? commentator or the color commentator? I was the, I was like Bobby Heenan. Right, right, right. I was just shitting on everything. Bars every now and then. Yeah. Yeah. I've, never yeah. heard of, I've heard of coach. You've never, never heard of Bobby the Brain Heenan? No. Wow. Maybe I've known my face. Yeah, you know his face. Yeah. yeah. Situation. Yeah. You guys are good at remembering <laughs> names that I don't remember. That's so, so Bobby Heenan's from mm. like the Gorilla Monsoon era of commentary. Right, right, right? right. So that's like early. How old are you, Specs? 26. <laughs> mean, <laughs> mean Gene Oakland times. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember Mean Gene? Like the first, yeah. the first few WrestleManias. Um, yeah. And Bobby Heenan was like the heel commentator. So he was always bantering, cracking jokes and cussing the faces. And, and he was a manager. Was and yeah, he was a manager as well. Yeah, really, really talented guy. Yeah, so. I wasn't. That was, that was when I was watching five minutes and the channel had to change because yeah. you know, my aunties were coming in and had to change it again. So I couldn't, I, I don't think when I was young, I watched a full two hours or an hour of wrestling. Yeah. It was every like five minutes out. Yeah. Then I got to put teletext or pretend I'm revising. Then keep in and out, in and out. So I'm missing parts. I'm missing parts, that's the problem. Bobby here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna But yeah, that. he, he was, uh, Jim Ross was really cool backstage. Really nice guy. Who's the biggest wrestler you've met in your time? Like, um, the most famous wrestler I've met in yeah. that time. I haven't really met many wrestlers that are actually super, super famous. 
Probably Dolph Ziggler's the most famous wrestler that I've met. I interviewed Dolph Ziggler. Is it? Mm. He was a cool guy. Yeah, well, nice. Yeah. Was that a couple of years ago? When they yeah. Yeah, yeah, W2K. Yeah. 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 Um, I've met really good wrestlers that you probably know who they are. Like Let me drop the names. Let me hear. This, is, oh, this is where Logan, this is where Logan is different to all of us. Yeah. Drop, um, give me a name. Like, I'm actual real life friends with Kenny Omega, who's probably the best. I've heard of that name, Kenny. 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 People say he's the best in the world now. Yeah. And um, Oh, Good friends, cool. yeah. Yeah. Um, AEW's coming to the UK, remember? It will be at Jim some point. Conrad said it. Yeah, they? they haven't got a date yet. But Should I get it. involved in AEW right now? It's good fun. Yeah, it's good fun. Is that the guy with the hands in his pockets, T? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Orange Cassidy. He's sick. He's sick. Yeah, Tigo shows me clips of him in the hands in his pocket. I'm just, but I'm watching, I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to get involved. Grant Hawk's not involved in that, is he? No. Okay, cool. That's good. <laughs> they should get him involved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just yeah. watch it, man. It's just good. It's just good. Uh, Cody Rose is in there. Um, a bunch of new guys that you, it, yeah, a lot of them have never been on WWF or WWE at all. So like they've come through the indies or gone a different direction. Um, Dean Ambrose is on there. I know that name, Dean Ambrose. He was in the Shield. I know that name, Dean. Speaking of the Shield, yeah, I saw Shane McMahon in CSI. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? What yeah. Had to do with the Shield. Shane McMahon <laughs> was on CSI. I mean, they're both kind of crime. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? How old is that? Gray, Gray McMahon or this year? Black Hammer. Oh, really? Shane McMahon. I didn't even know that happened. What's How was he? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to watch Shane McMahon be a cop in a film. I want to see him cop? jump from rope to rope. Yeah. Right. That's a whole lot of Shane McMahon, man. He loves Jordans. He Is does. It? Mm. He loves Jordans. You been WrestleMania? Yes. Tio, this is a whole lot. Which WrestleMania I went to? I'm going to guess 12. 12. No, 12. No. No, You'd no, have been no. a kid. I went to WrestleMania in Orlando, which was The Undertaker's last match. Against Brock Lesnar? No, it was against Triple H. Um, no. Nope. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns retired The Undertaker. Did he? Yeah. What? And oh. then The Undertaker wrestled again against Goldberg in Saudi Arabia. Was that when Undertaker's hat and thing yeah, was in the ring? Yeah, he left it in the ring. He left it in the his ring. hat and his gloves off and left him in the middle of the ring, yeah. And everyone said, Thank you, Taker. Yeah, I was there. I was chanting. Was, you, um, was that emotional watching The Undertaker? It was, leave? yeah, because he couldn't really walk. He, he was done. Yeah, he looked like that, he needed to retire. That, um, the entrance, that, uh, what, what, what do you call that thing oh, again? Oh, the ramp, yeah. Ramp. It took, that it took was a long. Hot minute to I get remember that. There. He'll wrestle again at WrestleMania, though, won't he? Um, I don't think he wants to. But the reason why he wrestled in Saudi Arabia is because they offered him, like, a oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Long. Yeah. Long. That, Same that reason was, I that, went to Saudi Arabia. That broke us, that broke my heart. That, that was that against Goldberg, right? Where, Where they could have killed each other. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. They could have picked each other up. No. It was terrible. Yeah, it was so bad. Yeah. They did all that for money. Yeah. Crazy money. But it is what it is. How much, how much you reckon Undertaker got out of that? I, I reckon he got about a mil. Ah! He got a mil for that. A mil? Yeah, I reckon. For then he breaking someone's neck. Yeah. And his own. Yeah. Mark Calloway's. Yeah, that's some serious fraud going on there, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. DDP 63. So Goldberg got a mil as well? I'd reckon so, yeah. S the Saudis, they just, they, they just pay, man. Yeah, stupid yeah. money. Yeah. Stupid money. Yeah, it was a shame, man, because like seeing that definitely um, was not the last image I wanted to have of The Undertaker in a wrestling ring. That's why I think he's going to wrestle at WrestleMania. Do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, oh he's he'll write that. He'll write One that. more match. One more match. Yeah. I'll tell you what we'll do now. We're going to get into some serious Sundays. Logan, Serious Sundays, where we take comments from the last week's episode, or we put a tweet out and say, give us some opinions. We're going with the comments today. Uh, I'll let you know is why. Is it actually serious, or is, it, is that a well, we'll, misleading we'll, we'll, title? We'll, we'll, no, it's, it's always serious. Everything on this show is serious. Okay. Sometimes. Uh, first comment comes from Why Tom. Redheads should be scandals still. So you know what? So is this Ella Hughes related? So yeah, this is basically the Ella Hughes relationship with me. <laughs> um... Someone messaged me privately yesterday and said, Specs, you need to call uh, Redheads predicaments. And within wow. my soul, that was the one. Forget symbol. Forget, what's that? Procrastination. Scandals. Forget procrastination. Let's go with predicaments. Yeah, because it's like a situation. Yeah, that's a good But shot. it's a mad predicament. So you go, Logan, I'm in a predicament right now. I'm in love with Ella Yeah. Where's well, she from? Uh, she's from Southampton. Oh, oh she's, she's British. English. I did not know that. All right. Mad. She's a Gemini. That makes her tweeting you back a little bit less. <laughs> She's a Gemini. She's just from Southampton. I'm looking at trains to Southampton. Do you Southampton. reckon she goes to home games? 
I hope so. Yeah. Nathan home and away, I'm, I'm, I, I want to go. I want to go to Southampton home games. You can scout Nathan Redmond. Of course. Oh. And I've been, I've been asking Arsenal to buy Nathan Redmond as well. Nathan Redmond, Southampton, Ella Hughes, and Oba Femi it's from all, Ireland. It's all coming together. It's all coming together, man. All right, well, Curtis Smith wants to throw his two pence in. Redheads should be called circumstances. That sounds too much like circumcision. Hmm. Circumstances, nah, man. But I'm going with predicaments. Circumstances is a good one. Yeah, well, I mean, it's good. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll find something else. We'll find, oh, I want to be a goth. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wear all black. Am I got the boots? <laughs> 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 I want to be a goth. You've got the dress code for it. I want to be a goth, honestly. Why? I just, I just, I just been looking at them. I went, I, I went in the club accident, and I saw them, and I was like, you know what? I'm come back here. <laughs> Dr. Martins galore! You just need to trade the trap star for like a like the edge jacket. Undertaker's a goth. Yes. Undertaker's a goth. Yeah. I'm a lion. And the brood. And the brood. The brood, the brood, yeah. What's that now? What's the brood now? Oh, edge, that was edge, Christian edge, edge, yes. and Gangrel. Gangrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Circumstar. I'm, the circum I'm a goth. But no, let's explore this goth situation. Uh, were, you, were you happy that the edge came back? Uh, at the Royal Rumble. Oh, I was. I, I loved Edge. Do you know what? I never. I never used to care about Edge, but you know what? That's a legend. That's a legend. I give it to him. So wait, you went back to this golf club. I remember you went to a golf club uh, last year, and you met. Let, a, okay, what's, let, what's 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 let what's, me spill. Let me spill beans and no, pork no, sausages. No, no, wait, wait. Well, quick question. Let me let me spill the beans and pork sausages. What's the girl? Franks and beans. What's a girl with a shaved head called? Uh, uh, shaved head. Yeah. She's um. Oh, oh what's the actor again? Oh, I said this to you. I, I called you. Remember the actor I said it to you? In, oh, oh, yeah. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, uh, Ocean's Eleven. I think he was in it. No Bernie ball. Mac. No <laughs> so Bernie Don Mac. Cheadle. Nope. Brad nope. Pitt. There's no, no Brad Pitt. Nearly, nearly. Keep going. No. Nope. There's no bald it's George people. It's George Clooney. Yeah. George no, Clooney's not bald. George, no, George Clooney's when a girl's got really short hair. Yeah. Sorry, I, I forgot about that. that was last year as well. No, it wasn't oh. George Clooney. No, but I'm talking about something else. But was it yeah. George Clooney? George Clooney's what you call girls with really short hair. Do you hair. remember when we was at the pattern? Yes. Was it George Clooney? Yes. All right, cool. Okay. So, <laughs> and I never got girls with shaved hair called George Clooney. Yeah. <laughs> because what happened was, I, I so basically, I went, to the, I went to the DMD live podcast and I, I got served, you know, some orange juice by a goth. Yeah, I remember. She had wires. And you know the things on Predator boots, all yeah, hanging yeah, off yeah. her jacket and stuff. And I was like, wow, this is incredible. I can't hug her. If I hug her, I'd hurt myself. Yeah. So I said to myself, you know what? Bare blood loss. Yeah, I, she had green hair. I spoke to her. She gave me an Instagram. We started talking. I was like, you know what? I like this. She showed me her room. Her room had loads of posters of... Uh, <sighs> Demolic, I would say. <laughs> and I was intrigued. Do you remember, Greg, when I came and showed you? Do you, do you remember about two years ago? And then I moved on to situations. But the goths were still there, Logan. <laughs> what are we gonna, do you have a, what are we, what are we calling goths? They're circumstances, right? They so circum they're circumstances. Okay. Ella Hughes, predicaments. Yeah. Blondie, situations. Okay. Brunettes? Brunettes are um, scenarios. scenarios. Okay. And girls, with, uh, Rasta girls, dreadlock girls, <laughs> tied up somewhere. Just call them tied up somewhere. <laughs> yeah, just tied up somewhere. George Clooney's obviously. And then George Clooney's. <laughs> yeah, so any anything I see an experience while I'm out, I, I, it'll come to mind. So what are you expecting from a relationship with a goth? A lot of heavy metal music. Yeah. That's number one. Um, I feel like a lot of the guys at the J Jim Ross show like heavy metal music. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they like up to date. Uh, next comment mm. I, from Kevin mm. Nashuti. That's almost like Kevin Nash. <laughs> Kevin Nashuti. <laughs> that is lazy, bro. If you call yourself Kevin Nash, or change up the whole thing. Kevin Nashuti. Talking about. Kevin says, I need to hear Specs talk about Love Island. I've never See, watched. What, if I said to you, I've never watched. Never Love watched Island. the second of it. I've never, I've watched, never watched the second of it. I have no interest in Love Island. I don't know why. Love, Love Island, Big Brother. And celebrity get me out of here is something that you won't see me in there. Like if I want to watch massively unbelievable over scripted nonsense, I watch wrestling already. So. Yeah. So okay. yeah, Love Island is not my. I'm, I'm not. Into, I'm, I haven't yeah. seen one. I don't know who's in it. Less steroids. Nothing. Wrestling as well. yeah. yeah. Nothing. It turns out some massive wankers as well. All of them. Not all of them. Oh. Some. There are actually some nice people who come out of Love Island. 
Those guys that are some wankers. Those though. guys that I've met in, in the JD mansion. Yeah, are they, they're from Love Island, right? Yeah. Well, oh, nice they guys. love it. They're nice guys. They love getting mm. them in influence. Oh, they love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're not going to do that. But yeah, <laughs> love it. <laughs> yeah, but no they're... brands in general. Brands no, love so we're them. We're not yeah. going to focus on any specific mm. brands, but brands definitely love her. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to run out now. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. Well, if they that... just think of another reality show. I love Island was around years ago though. And it yeah, just but then they just move on to the next one. Yeah, they will. You know, they will. Love Islanders. I don't give you views, man. But you know, a couple of situations. If I meet you, I'll talk to you a lot. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But yeah, it's just. Do you know Island's what I realise as well? How old I am. That's the when thing. I see people from Love Island in mm. real life, because mm. there just was a couple of girls that I didn't know who the hell they were, and they looked about fifteen. Yeah. At that thing that we were at the other day. And then I realized they were, someone told me they were from Love Island. I was mm. like, oh, yeah, I'm old. Naranjan Varma says specs. One second, one second, one second. Are these names or are these translations of places in Africa? What do you mean, Nar- no, no, excuse me? <laughs> Naranjan Varma. Naranjan Varma. What the hell's that? We have a very international like audience. A- Sounds like a man. We did diverse the audience. It's good. Yeah, it's good. We saw the man. numbers. We have good, good international that like audience. That sounds like a person. Message. Well, he says, Specs, you should interview Damian Lillard, NBA player with great knowledge about wrestling during the Attitude no, Era. There's no one that's got greater knowledge than Logan Sama. No one. Logan Sama pulls out names that perhaps <laughs> I've never heard of. Every time. <laughs> Neville. Neville. <laughs> I'm talking about Neville Southall. He's Adrian talking about another Neville. Neville. So I, I don't care what NBA player that is. This I mean, you'll DJ find out who he is on Friday if you do come down because you'll see him wrestle. Yeah, I'm gonna up, in fact Zach Saber Jr. People, what's my oh, Insta not, story on Friday? Man. What time, Logan? <laughs> he said six. Six. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. It's about five thirty. Cool. Dame Lillard. Um, he's got his own Stone Cold trainers with Adidas. His own Stone Cold trainers with Adidas. Have you not seen those? No. I mean, does Stone Cold know about these? Yeah. 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 How much I, uh, there is allegedly a Ric Flair pair coming as well. Okay. How much is Stone Cold getting out of it? I don't think Stone Cold gets anything out of it. Well, he makes the money. V- Vince, oh, Vin- Vince gets it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But Dame Lillard, he's, he's attitude era. Where does he live? Southampton? Portland. <laughs> Portland here or Portland, <laughs> Portland here? Or Portland there? Portland there. Ah, he can't come on this show. You interviewed James Harden though. James Harden spoke about wrestling as well, man. Yeah. I played to him, man. Yeah, Rikishi. Well. Spoke about he spoke about Rikishi, so he was looking at singular. <laughs> Adam Foxsmith says, "I'm Adam Foxsmith, and for the record, I think Specs Grandad hat is too drippy." Water oh, drip. Adam Foxsmith, thank you for having the the correct name for once, <laughs> because the names have been coming out. I don't know what mountains, and I don't know. We're just getting comments from different places now. Let on people. So Adam Foxsmith, yep, that's the, that's what we call a granddad hat. I'm from Islington. So that was the, the Cockneys used to wear. And I used to be related to the craze. My granddad did actually wear mm. one is of it? hats, yeah. So, it is so yeah, really that's, that's, that's what we do, you know, that's what we do. <laughs> like yeah, I, the craze. I was, yeah, I was, yeah, I used to be which, related to Which one to of the craze were you related to? Uh, or Reggie? Reggie. You're related to Reggie. Right? Reggie. Yeah. Reggie uh, craze. <laughs> Not any of us though, you know. <laughs> it was a long time yeah, ago. In jail, man. That's, a long that's, time ago. Justice. <laughs> Justice. The next comment comes from YNW... Abdraham. Abdiraham. YNW Abdiraham. His own name's arguing. <laughs> that's, that's an argument. What do you mean, Abdurrahman YW? What is this? He it's says, he says, loving the longer episodes, fam. I listen to you on the way to work. Now, we have a lot of uh, listeners in America. Okay. So it's possible that someone who says y'all and fam and way might be American. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. I'll be honest, um, Abdi, uh, Abdi Rahman, yo, why NW, everyone to cool yourself. I remember when Tigo come and said, we need to start a podcast. And I was like, nah, we can't, man. But ever since, I've loved it myself. So thank you, man. Thank you. I think it's fantastic. Any, anything that gives me the opportunity to hear you speak for longer is... Very it's mad because, you know, I can't, I can't hear myself speak for long. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. You're doing a service for everyone I'd rather else. watch Conrad than Spets Gonzalez. That's me, though. Yeah. I mean, you know what Spex Gonzalez is going to say. No mm. one else does, mm. ever. Spex does not know what Spex Gonzalez oh, is going to say. He does. I don't know, man. Mm. I think you're both right. Uh, this one's from Matt. 
First 10 minutes in, and Tigo, Matt. 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 Just Matt. Matt, just Matt, yeah? yeah. Like, that, that's, that's wrestling. Yeah, yeah well, that's wrestling. Because you have to land it. Matt. Matt said, first 10 minutes in, and Tigo needs to be slapped up. Why? What did you do in the first 10 minutes? Well, let's, I'll, I'll read the next two. Okay. The next one, sorry, I only got one more. Uh, Biggie, Biggie1471 <laughs> says, Tigo is just jarring, poor chemistry, and not funny. Oh, so oh, oh, I get it. So they expect you to be like me. Yeah, because we have Miles. Yeah, and I think people don't realize like how close we are with Miles. Well, how close I am with Miles. They know yeah. how close you are with Miles. Yeah. So where I'm getting frustrated by his lies and his nonsense, ah. I think the viewers like, why is that person getting onto Miles? Mm. What they don't know is there's no one on planet Earth who gets onto Miles more than me. And actually, a lot of what we have is on Filvy is because I'm sick of it. So the viewers were kind of like, I don't, th I don't think they liked it. They just wanted Miles to be Miles. It's funny, you know why it's funny is because I think um, Miles is Miles, so Miles clicks L's all the time. But Tigo is actually the guy that is behind the scenes. So if Tigo wasn't sitting here, I wouldn't be sitting here. If you mm. said to me, Specs, do the podcast normal, so I'm not gonna do it. That's the thing. With all the interviews I do, if we're talking James Harden. All these interviews that that's on YouTube, T goes there behind the camera Bro, he and he to... sets everything for me. Yeah. He's like my dad. Everything's set up for me to to be myself. I'm nothing like your dad. The framework is the framework, but they don't see that. They just see the me doing you the got jokes. You've interview Ronaldinho. That's the thing. I haven't. I need to come around and shake your hand. Thank you, man. We'll, we'll, we'll do the Bluetooth for now, and then we, we'll connect. But even with that. that, that that day, I remember you know me, T go. Uh, was it Felix? Was he there? Greg was it? Was yes. that for, wasn't it? Yes. So we, I remember before we go to see when, before we walked into Ronaldinho, Tigo was working on me just being calm myself and overthinking. So these guys have invited me to do the biggest fart <laughs> in the corridor. Okay. Am I lying? <laughs> no. Oh, my witnesses. Can I've you fart heard. on command? Well, I did the biggest fart ever. Like, I'd be scared to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like terrorist stuff. And he walked up the stairs. Do you remember when people come up the stairs? And these guys tried to run away from me. Do you know what I mean? But that's as soon as the fart finished and everyone ran for cover, yeah. the door opened. It's like Spets going to an Ardino. And bang, there you go, magic happens. If Tigo wasn't there, I probably went to the toilet, done my number four. And probably missed the whole. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I just feel like so, Tigo's not there for the don't look at Tigo for the jokes and stuff. Tigo is just a, there just to make sure Specs is just letting one rip. Yeah. And Miles is collecting his. Yeah. All of us. All of us. Even on the full fellas. I hear that. Yeah. And that's it. But they, that's the thing. If I don't explain that, they're not going to know. No, and, and they, I'm, they joke. The, the, the people that are listening and watching just think that you're you should be performing as well. Yeah, I, no, I think no. they just like where did this guy come from? So Which you're I Conrad, basically. Exactly. Yeah, I don't have a problem with. He could be like, Conrad. He's like kind of like yeah, Conrad. he's Conrad. Yeah, but I don't have a problem with them not liking me or or being like, well, I, because on, honestly, with Miles, it's hard for me to just like sit here and just be like, okay, go on, do your thing, Miles. Mm. Miles beat up a teacher in year two. I'm like, no, we've got to work this oh, out. I saw that. But he's he's Why nonsense. Why did I get on to him when he said I'd be able to miss? Yeah, we, well, <laughs> he, I'll be up a teacher. Yeah, it was missed. Yeah, he's so deep in the <laughs> he's so deep in the lie at that point that he's just like, what do you pick apart? Like the fact that you were proud of beating up a woman in year two, <laughs> which isn't possible physically. Yeah. I'm sorry, I tried to be the viewer. In oh, that Antigo moment. pays me as well. <laughs> I need the money, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah I need the money. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> hey. oh. What? Greg! <laughs> On my daughters, I didn't see you there, bro. <laughs> I thought that was my uncle. <laughs> the one that passed away. <laughs> Final comment is from Daniel Barton. That's a good my, name. Miles, that's a good name. That's a good name yeah. Barton. Joey. Joey Warren. Warren. Situation. Warren Barton, Warren yeah. Barton legend. Miles my is the funniest guy <laughs> on Filthy, no cap. Again, he might be American. He said no cap. No cap doesn't mean you're American anymore. No, it's yeah, true. It's true. Yeah. Miles is very funny, yeah. but without being funny. That's Probably. the thing. Yeah. 
Oh, he's hilarious. Do you he's know hilarious. what I noticed the other day? Miles puts up videos going to the gym. So I follow Miles on Instagram. Right? <laughs> yeah. So he puts so up do videos. You. So he puts up videos of him going to the gym. But then I noticed later in the day he's on filthy wearing the same clothes he went to the gym. <laughs> Has anyone noticed that? Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm quite observant, so I was like, <laughs> no, yeah, it's good. That's good. You see that? I, Miles needs to see that. He needs to see because he calls himself the king of grime. Well, that, obviously, it doesn't mean in the same way that Wiley does. Then, obviously, yeah, it's true. It's true. But when he when he calls it's himself the king of grime, of grime to you, who is a senior in the grime yeah. game, yeah. what do you, like, when you see someone like Miles talk about he's the first to play? Ford with him on internet radio. How does that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, do, I can't really take that seriously. You know. He said that Lethal Bizzle was in Uptown Records and told him to buy it, yeah. bought it, and he was the first DJ to play it in Northwest London and he was famous for it. And he played it on Northwest London internet radio station, Grime I FM. I mean, I want to say that, like, Probably someone on Raw Mission had the record on dub or something. Before, before it was on sale at Uptown I Records. I reckon you're probably I right. I reckon before it, like before Cameo had it under the counter at Uptown Records, that it was probably cut on dub by someone in Northwest. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe Sticky probably played it, I'd imagine. You know, so DJ Mileage, you can't put his name in these these categories. No, the Logans, the Cameos, but, you Sticky. Know, I'm sh- I'm sure you know he did buy the records and play it on internet radio and um, probably boosted the sales. I'm sure, just like you boosted Teddy Long's um, views oh. online. Teddy Long, you're coming, man. You're coming, Teddy Long. Trust soon, me. Player, soon come. He loves that player. Yeah, but his suits are long. And speaking of long suits, I got you a gift. Oh. Uh, I've got you a nice gift, man. Oh, thank you. It's an envelope. Yeah, man. I've it's got an envelope. There oh. we go. What does it say on it? It looks like he's tried to shank it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, you, so when you, so you have to Look, always put in my country. You got to put holes in it to show that. I can see inside. Anyone it. can actually go and open. I this know what hole. it is now. This envelope, so it's fine. <laughs> it's a Valentine's card. It's a Valentine's card. I'm yeah, going mean. to do a dramatic reading. Yeah. Got bad writing, by the way. Dear Logan Sarman, mm-hmm. today, tomorrow, and always, mm-hmm. you mean the world to me. Mm-hmm. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. And then the personal <laughs> inscription is this I want mine and Ella Hughes's relationship to be as strong as the seat Conrad was sitting on. No rules. <laughs> Specs Gonzalez. <laughs> I think we can all learn something from that. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. It was. That is not the envelope that's supposed to be in. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when you buy these, they come with envelopes. It's no rules, baby. Player. It's true. No rules, player. Tigo. Go on. Did you see the biceps? <laughs> on Conrad C. <laughs> did you see it? did you see his pinky ring? Did you see the, the triceps? <laughs> oh Conrad C. Conrad C had Roberto Carlos calves. <laughs> John Barnes thighs. <laughs> People don't want to hear that. <laughs> well, on that subject, mm. we should probably move on to uh, Remember Wrestling. Oh, has that not just been the whole show? <laughs> 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 has that not just well, been the whole show? <laughs> Normally on Remember Wrestling, we'll go back and find an old wrestling clip and we'll talk through it. It's kind of beneath Logan, who could tell us so much information and... You know, we'd just be kind of wasting his time making him watch Rikishi versus The Godfather on Sunday Night Heat on March 2000. <laughs> so instead, we're just going to, yeah, we're going to talk about this Conrad and Jim Ross night mm-hmm. where you bought his book, £20. Have you read the book? I'm, I'm going to start from page 51, I said. So I want to... Okay. Let's know what's on 51, Logan. Jerry's antics to know that the audience was getting the wrong kind of pissed. So it's about honesty. Yeah, but it's he's got not bitter, is he? Vince McMahon's like f- 
written the forward, so I guess I bet it's not that honest. Okay. And the afterword by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. He didn't even write the book. It was dictated to Scott E. Williams. He was probably pretty drunk. Wait, Jim Ross with Paul O'Brien. So what did he do? Jim Ross with Paul O'Brien. So this is not his book. As told to Scott E. Williams, Vince wrote the foreword. Did he, did he just pose for the photo? I can't believe this. 20 pounds. Jim Ross scammed me. I mean, I guess. You scammed yourself. So what about Under the Hat? That was his first book, right? Did you not know about that? <laughs> no, I thought you meant literally what's going on under the hat. Oh, I don't want to know that. What is under the hat? His first book was called Under the Hat, people. So but I've never seen Jim Ross without his hat on. Oh, wow. This book's deep. Yeah. 1990. 97. Jesse Ventura. Ollie Anderson and Dusty Rhodes. Let me see. Is there any pictures in there? There's going to be loads of people that he's got no idea who they are in there. Yeah, yeah there's pictures. Yeah, go on. Let's see. Show us some, talk, oh, talk us through some of these pictures. Amazing, amazing. Oh, look, this is Jim Ross without his hat. <laughs> he used to not have the hat. He's with Dirk Cout. For <laughs> memory, but... That's Dirk Cout. Yeah. Who's that? Right here. I don't know. You've got the caption. I don't recognize that person. Tony Schiavone. That's not no, Tony Schiavone. No, that's not Tony Schiavone. Let me see. What? I'm, I'm really short. Who's was Tony Schiavone and all those oh. people? Oh don't my God, that is Tony Schiavone. Don't tell me I bought it. Look. Don't tell me I bought a book that's got blonde. people I don't know He's, He's blonde. That Situation. looks like Tony Schiavone with like Botox and a facelift and that's mad. He doesn't look well. That's terrifying. Is he with us now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tony Schiavone. What was it? They, they both do commentary now on uh, AEW together. Tony okay. Schiavone and Joe, Jim Ross. That's why he's in the book. Tony Schiavone was the main commentator on WCW during the Monday Night Wars. What else have we that, got? That picture's terrifying. I don't that is really it. bad, yeah. You always have to throw one black man in there. Come on, guys. <laughs> Mark Henry. <laughs> Not Ahmed Johnson. Mark Henry, but hearing on. See it there? The world's strongest the man. world's strongest man. Sexual chocolate. The Rock had a spam nation, though. See The Rock's daughter. Yeah, I saw her. I yeah, saw, I saw she the just signed for yeah. NXT. Yeah. She's beautiful. See, someone like Rock's daughter, what would I call her? I'd call her. What would I call the Rock's daughter? The Pebble? No entry? What? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, Off limits. That's okay. <laughs> um, and that's it, man. That's it. <laughs> no more pictures. No, just words. Pictures. Slobber knocker. Yeah. <laughs> That's the word I just saw. It's the yeah. name of the book. Oh, what does it mean? <laughs> what does slobber knocker mean? Like when you punch someone and the slobber oh, comes okay. out of their mouth. That's what he was talking about. Yeah. JR's got a problem with wrestlers when they um, attempt to hit you, the other wrestler hits himself to make it sound like they've been hit. No, yeah, yeah, you're saying when they kick and they yeah. slap their thighs. Yeah, he, yeah, hates he hated stuff, it. Yeah. Yeah. He got very angry about that. He got that. very angry with it, yeah. <laughs> he was drinking vodka and getting mad and mad and mad about what wrestlers do now. <laughs> it was very funny. He stood up. Do you remember how long he spent standing up shouting about wrestlers <laughs> slapping their thighs? <laughs> he works for a company that's basically owned by two guys, the Young Bucks, who that's their shtick as well. Fire slapping. Super kick party. Spex is just looking through this book. Oh yes, I we saw go. Linda McMahon. We started doing it that way. Amazingly, <laughs> he smashed her. <laughs> and it shortened our Saturday work sessions considerably. <laughs> <laughs> to the point that one day, Linda McMahon walked into my office and asked me to step out from behind my desk. <laughs> she gave me a hug and said, I just want to thank you for giving me my husband back on the weekends. <laughs> what? Jim Ross and Linda McMahon had something going on. <laughs> Linda had even advised me on relationships with Jan when we had been dating for a while. I had strong feelings for her and Linda encouraged me to think seriously about where we should get married. And it ended up being a Didn't little chapel in chapel Vegas. Chapel. <laughs> <laughs> this book's amazing. If I, don't make me open another page and read something go on, else. one more, go on. Linda McMahon. <laughs> Would you, Logan? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Harwood, boy. She works for Donald Trump. I love Cougars. Not now, then, or ever. Ooh, Diva. All right, here we go. 
At every arena, WWE have set up various rooms which are designated for various things, including Vince's office, Diva's locker room, male locker room, and talent's relations room. I spent a lot of time in the talent's relations room that day, just trying to stay away from everybody. It took me an hour just to put, up, put my tux on because I kept stopping and thinking, maybe I should get, go and tell Vince I can't do this now. What? So shoulder shaking, <laughs> he just thought, you know what, I've had enough. What's that got to do? I love, uh, listen, this book is, this book is real. <laughs> <coughs> Talents relation, what does that actual, actually mean? It's like A&R. Yeah. You deal with all the people. Just management. Make sure they're all right. Get them their money, tell them what their job is. Make sure they know where they're staying. Well, he did say that Lita was one of the uh, best female uh, wrestlers he's ever hired because she said of her, of her, of her work rate uh, her athleticism so yeah Lita might be someone I might look up for maybe tomorrow maybe the afternoon see if I was trying to shake to her as well well that was a great remember wrestling with a twist yeah well let people people are at least I'm supporting it's out now I, I'm, I'm buying books Jim Ross make sure you buy mine when we bring out Arnold's book one day um, but I'm supporting the cause and on Friday um, I'm going with the love of my life, uh, Logan Sama, because obviously I got you a card. See, that's why it was it was fated. So you got me the Valentine's card, and now Valentine's Day we'll be we're gonna go and watch some wrestling. There we go. We're gonna watch some wrestling, some Tatonka. Yeah, it's the perfect and all those guys. It's Friday, so yeah, man, it's all looking good. Well, now we're gonna get into some no rules news. Oof, here we okay. go. Okay. This news story comes from boingboing.net. Burglar left behind notebook with... Hughes on that website. <laughs> <laughs> you, mad, yeah. you always start with Burglar. You always start with Burglar. All right, go on. Well, shout out Denzel who, who picked the stories this week because I had a meeting and I needed him to help me out. So these are specially... This is a special Denzel Bell episode Thank of... Thank you, Digital Dens, man. No he's been on the show, people. He's my cousin. Boingboing.net say, Burglar left behind notebook with list of homes to burglarized. He got busted. A ten in Tennessee, a well-organized but not super smart burglary suspect was busted by the fuzz when he dropped his notebook with a list of homes he planned to burglarize. Robert Shaw Goddard, 49, is charged with breaking into Nashville area home on January 29th. Is that his name or is his username? Robert Shaw Goddard, 49. Yeah. So 49, like a YouTube, like 49, a YouTube account. 49 year old burglars. Is that normal? No. 49 years old. I mean... To go into houses. You have no pace you'd be to run around. <laughs> you've got no pace. You'd, you'd imagine, like, at that age, you'd be on some Ocean Eleven mm. shit. Like, mm. get a crew in yeah. and be, you know... Not, it's true. Not, not houses. Like, casinos. By yourself. Museums. Banks. You know, big targets at 49. You'd, you you have to have had a, a career of crime. Yeah. And, and that career the skills. can't have gone well. Like, yeah. you definitely got released by your club as a youth player. Did a bit of non-league burglary. You know... Yeah, semi-pro burglary. Yeah. <laughs> this next story comes from The Guardian. Serious website. Okay. Coronavirus. Chinese man under lockdown runs 31 miles in his living room. That's a big fucking living room. Well, Pan Shanku from the city of Hangzhou completed 6,250 laps of track consisting of two large tables set up inside his apartment. Fucking hell. What, the, the coronavirus is chasing him around the house? <laughs> what, why, why is he running around his house? Well, he's on lockdown. He's trying not to catch it. So he, he feels about running and he can't catch it? <laughs> I don't think there's anyone in his house that's so, got it. So why is he running? You're that means corona is, is chasing him. Well, a Chinese marathon runner under lockdown during the coronavirus oh, outbreak. Mar I didn't hear that. Has kept his... I just heard, heard Chinese man. He's that's kept his spirits up by running 31 miles around his living room. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, he's, that's his that's his job, I guess. He could not but bear sitting tables, down anymore. Two tables running around two tables. Running, running around your, running around inside. That's the almost house. as embarrassing as seeing Fen trying to ride that bike around the office. <laughs> exactly. I think running and riding or driving inside, you know, in I think it's a it's a, it's, it's, it's a L. Yeah. It's a L. You've just reminded me. Mm. So I just came back from Japan mm. the other the other week. Damn I want to get one of those Japanese toilets. Oh, right, to, explain to me what that is. So they've got like. They're powered toilets. They have heated seats at all times. It's got like the B day, so you can wash your batty as well. It's great. It's drier, so you don't have a wet ass. Fantastic. 
Super comfortable. It, it, what, everywhere in Japan? Yeah. Standard. Why are we doing what? Every we, hotel. Why are we doing this? They're like three grand to import though. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna grind this year. How do you how do you plug it into the electrics? You need an electric outlet put into your bathroom. But I'll do that as well. If you've got two grand to you know, three grand to put in the toilet, you can afford to get the man to put in the uh, the power lead. So Japan's technology is still way ahead of us. Yeah. yeah. I've never used a bidet. Trust me, you will, you won't go back. <laughs> so you're telling me I can do I, I can do a shit. Yeah. But the seat's hot. Seat's warm. <gasps> and there's fountain sprays up and there the to clean it. Fountain spray cleans your bum, and then it dries it off as well. The nice a bit of hot air. And then you just get up, put your pants back. Well, on. Well, what water's going in my bum? It's hot. just like having a wash. No, not in. No, in. In and around. Well, that's not that'll turn me on, folks. Because obviously that's meant to be a man's weak spot. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Nope. It's a double <laughs> investment for you then, because that you know you can you, you won't even need to go in there while you're taking a shit. You just go in there while you're getting prepped for a bit of shoulder shaking, and then you'll be right in the mood. That's what my sh- shit in the shoulder shaking and get your bum washed all in one. That's amazing, man. There you go, worth three grand. Buy it for me then, because I ain't got three grand. <laughs> you got more money than me, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> this next headline comes from VT. I don't know what VT is. Woman breaks vagina after using vibrator six times a day. I, 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 you know what? N- now I need to calm down on shoulder shaking. Because I was thinking, what the, you know. I, I mean, imagine, chafing has to be a problem. How can you? Six times a day. No, I've never, I've never, I've never. I've, I mean, when you was at your prime, Logan, did you ever do six times a day? That's too much. Too, too, too many. Six times a day. The most I've done is probably you got morning, you got afternoon, you got the evening. <laughs> that's like a that's like when you're thirteen and you get mm. the day off school mm. and your mum goes out mm. and you're just indoors alone bored, I guess. But six. Have you done that? What six? No. No, not six, yeah. Not six. That's got to be like chafing's gotta set in there, mm. you know. You start getting like tender nights yeah, yeah, forearm. <laughs> it's long. Do you know what I mean? All kinds of it's hurts. It hurts, it hurts her shoulders, man. Well, after splitting from her husband, Nadia Bacodi was looking for a way to meet her needs and bought a rampant rabbit sex toy made famous by what the HBO. Type of needs? Well, Six times a day. This this rampant rabbit sex toy was made famous by the HBO television course, show Sex much. in the City. It's sex in the City. Is Sex in the City the one with the predicament? Six in the City. Is it Six in the City or Sex in the City? Sex in the City's got predicament and situation. It's got the, the and full scenario. spectrum. Yeah. No George Clooney. Sex oh, there is a George Clooney. Oh, yeah, but she's yeah. a predicament. The sex, the sex in the City, the problem is, man, the sex is... When, when the, the bed is shaking, do women want to start talking? Why are you talking? Why are you... This is not, this is not that type of scene. It's, it's, it's the scene that you're entertaining me for my shoulders to be fast. Now you're talking. <laughs> Distraction. Well, uh, Nadia said after breaking her vagina, I became obsessed with using it and the ease and speed at which it allowed me to feel pleasure again after months in a sexless marriage. It was incredibly liberating and empowering to really take control of my sexuality in that way for the first time in my adult life. That rabbit must have been Japanese. The way the Japanese are going with, you know, the, the technology must have been Japanese, this rabbit. How is this rabbit doing the job? And now she's saying that, you know, the rabbit is better than the husband. That's, that's embarrassing, man. But, uh, Nadia Bacodi started struggling with pelvic Bacodi? pain. Bacodi? She's Congolese. <laughs> B-O-K-O-D-Y. I think there'll be an I Maybe involved. there's a reason why the husband doesn't want to be anymore. <laughs> but Jackie Lukaku, who would want to be that? <laughs> Struggling with pelvic pain, Bacodi went to the doctors to test for STIs, but each test came back clear. It was only after a series of questions that do- doctors discovered the true cause of her pain, the sex toy. After a, couple, after a couple of weeks of using my new adult plaything, I started experiencing some pelvic pain and was hobbling around the office. A couple of weeks. Not Six making, times a day. Not making the connection, I went to the doctor to find out what was wrong. Now, look. That's 84 times. I know the girls obviously use the, you know, the vibrator, but some guys use the, remember when Steve-O came in with the, uh, remember that thing? The pussy. Oh, the flashlight, yeah. Is that a sex oh, they toy? Do celeb- yeah, they do celebrity ones of those. Oh. Well, not celebrities, like you can get the. Ellen Hughes, Ellen Hughes has got a whole go. sex toy. Yeah. 
and she's you know she's she's promoting and Ella Hughes, if you're watching now, I would never to. buy that to off you. I want the real thing with no battery. I want Ella Hughes. I don't know. That sentence maybe didn't sound how you think it sounded. Battery. <laughs> I'm not here to share. I told Savage that I'm not here to share. I made that very clear on Twitter. I'm not sharing. <laughs> The final story, I want you to consider this from the USA Today. These zoos will name a cockroach after your ex and feed it to an animal on Valentine's Day. Excuse me? Name a cockroach after your ex. So if my ex is called Mudenja, <laughs> the cockroach is called Mudenja as well. Yeah. And then they'll feed it to an animal. Do you get to choose which animal? Or? Well, let's find out. Not feeling much love as Valentine's Day nears? Two zoos in Texas will let you honor an ex in a cruel but probably very satisfying way. The San Antonio Zoo and the El Paso Zoo are running campaigns through Valentine's Day to dedicate a cockroach after an ex and feed it to an animal. The El Paso event is free, but donations are suggested. San Antonio's cost $5 per roach. The best thing is you don't have to be from either city, but the zoos are offering the chance for people to see all the munching on their social media streams. We should do this. On a live streaming. We should do this. Who would you, who would you, want to f name a dying cockroach after? A wrestler. That's passed away. Why? Because that's that's I'm, I'm I'm obsessed with dying wrestlers. Yeah, but then it gets fed to a. An animal. What animal? I need to say a gorilla. They won't gorilla's know, don't don't think gorillas eat cockroaches. No. Oh, it's a rat or a reptile. Oh. I mean, is there anyone you hate that you want to see eaten by a snake? Do you know, do you know Miles' mum's name? <laughs> I do. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Would you ever tell me? I've told you before. No, you haven't. Yeah. I'm not going to say it on air. Definitely not. With? I'm not going to say it. I will, look, no, I'm not saying it. Yeah, Mars's mum does not get to be no, fed no, to a rat or a reptile. She's she got nothing to do with this. I'm just asking. <laughs> is there a number in her name? Yeah. You haven't told me. No. What is there a number in her name? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> she got a username on YouTube. Yeah. She got a tag. <laughs> is it KRS One? What's her name? <laughs> what? Move on. Because <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't told me, Logan. Oh, uh, yeah, he <laughs> has. I have. Yeah. Mars has told us all. Who do I hate the most? Who do you hate the most? Hate is a strong word. Yeah, man. but who do you hear? Who do you see on TV? Who do you see on the internet? You just like turn turn it off. I don't like Love Island, but I don't hate Love Island. Mm. The bill doesn't come on anymore. <laughs> who would it have been on the bill? Ricky Lakes, don't know what she's doing. <laughs> Sunset Beach don't come on anymore. <laughs> I might get the... The entire cabinet. Government, um, yeah, yeah. Boris. Boris Johnson. Up front. Specs was a big Boris fan. I hate Yeezy. Because he said he made 100k of grime. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Logan, is that true? Did he make 100k of grime? If he did, I didn't see any of it. <laughs> Why would that make you hate him? Though? That's I don't know if it's true. Because <laughs> he's lying to me. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I wasn't privy to those transactions. When he said Yeezy, I thought Kanye. Yeah, I thought like oh, Kanye. Right. No, Yeezy, right. Yeah. Why has Kanye made 100k? I didn't know it he probably it. has, though, to be fair. That Brit Awards performance probably boosted sales. Who do I, Who do I complain about the most? He's a good youth, by the way. He's yeah, he's all right. Yeah. Oh, he's actually good. I actually saw his video yesterday of him getting you know, the ones where he's last 30 seconds of breathe or something. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was a good song. You did Sky with him as well. And we did Sky together, yeah. Um, what's Harry Pinero's ex's name? I don't know. I only know what his current girlfriend's Fair name is. She's a yardie anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her. Why her? Why her? Because uh, Harry told me he's going to have a yardie. And all of a sudden, he's having a baby with Mirror. So, yeah. Let's just name after the yardie. The yardie, obviously, that relationship from back in the day. Yeah. Oh, well, we're talking a lot. BC before guys. Jesus himself. A cockroach. Boat. Boat. Me and Boat called me yesterday. We had, a, we had a chat on the phone for an hour, so he's back in my good books. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with Issues. <laughs> What's I've Issues got a done now? Issues. I've got a friend called Issues. And I have to, I have to go with Issues. What's he done now? <sighs> His parents broke up. And, um, <laughs> Why am I laughing? 
His dad rang me and told me he's had enough issues. And the wife sent me a picture of himself on the plane. Um, and issues sent me the same picture saying, look, look at what dad's wearing. I'm like, bro, dad's gone. He's leaving your mum and you. So if I was you, I would delete this picture you're sending me right now because you don't know the truth yet. <laughs> He was just abandoning his family, but telling you on the low what he was doing. Dad didn't tell issues. He told me to speak to issues. But issues doesn't know. So I'm telling issues now, no rule show. You know why? There's no fucking rules. Issues, your dad's gone. <laughs> not coming back. Get out. <laughs> Sorry, issues, man. You're my guy, though. Well, that's that. That's the last no rules news story. And uh, yeah, we're wrapped. Oh, Anti Phantom, I'm gonna call you back, man. We're gonna discuss this uh, Oxford trip on uh, Sunday. And Conrad. I'm gonna tell Fanta I can't make the trip on Sunday because I've got Saturday socials with Sky Sports on Saturday. <laughs> They're still getting you in for those. There's yeah. no rules, man. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm in with Harry this Saturday. Okay. So I'll tell Harry, you know, congratulations. How's that going? Well, uh, yeah. uh, Saturday socials? Yeah. It's good. I think it's good. It's, I like it because it's like. Them other two dons are a little bit boring, though. Yeah, I mean, they, what I like is they don't want me to talk football. They want me to go and be the no rules specs, okay. which is good. Yeah. So if they ask me about Arsenal, I can talk about Dolph Ziggler and Sonny, etc. So that's what I like about it. All right. But uh, it's far, it's quick. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's TV, isn't it? Yeah. It looks good. It Gets you up early in the morning. Oh, the cab comes to me at seven in the morning on a Saturday. Well, thank you for coming, Logan. It's a pleasure, always. Logan, quick question. Yes. I've asked you this before and I forgot the answer you gave me. Uh, Coastal Clash. Uh, I think it was 16 or 17. I can't remember the years, but go on. So Stormzy. Uh, Chipmunks. Chipmunk comes out before Stormzy, remember? Okay. I know you might run out of bars. Chip don't run out of bars. Everyone's guy might be, was it? What tune was that? Teddy! <laughs> Beginning. Dum, 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 oh, that's not Teddy. It's uh, oh. Teaser Bounce. Teaser Bounce. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. That is. You love that culture I clash love, set. Man. What? Do you know? Do you know? I I watch that. This is all I watch when I watch. Big up clash. Teaser, by the way. Uh, D double. Yeah. Spitting with um, uh, uh, what's his guy? The other short guy he's always with. Footsie. 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 Again. I just came dun, back on tour. Dun, with dun, 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 hard. Dun, 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 hard. Mm. Scratchy, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Stormzy and uh, Chip, yeah. There was one more. There's one more, and someone else went mad. Wiley, of course, kills it. I don't know why Coach Crash is not on anymore. Amazing. <laughs> oh, is it? Is it reasons? Money. Yeah, we can talk about it. Can I, can that's a different show wait, about serious things. Can I start it though? Can I start it? Bring it back. Yeah, can I bring that culture clash back? I reckon you could. How much? Three grand? Like the Japanese toilets? Or is it <laughs> yeah. way more than that? I mean, if you wanted to do it like just in the little Dalston High Road club. No, I want old two, man. I want old two. Bit more than three grand. Is it? A little bit more, yeah. yeah. We, need the, we need those days, man. You need, you need a couple of um, Undertaker versus Goldberg matches. Mm -hmm. yeah. Save some money by the undercard being Taser and Mileage <laughs> and all those guys mm -hmm. who... Uh, Mileage the, oh the yeah, because I would have to pay. They had Wiz Khalifa last time. Yeah, I wouldn't pay for that. Did was he paid for that? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't. Money, money, man. I wouldn't. Oh. They just came on and played records. Yeah, yeah. Uh, terrible. Yeah. Thank you again. We managed to make that outro into a whole different segment. Logan, there's no rules. No rules. Thank you, Logan Sama, man, my legend, my cousin, always, man. Thank you, my Valentine. Mm -hmm.